Hello guys, welcome to techv.com, your solution providers. Uh, my name is Jack and today I will show you a Photoshop tutorial and you will learn how to combine multiple photos at one project. Okay, so here I have inserted already uh, an orange. Uh, you see the background is uh, yellow. I have done nothing to this image. It is um, intacted. And uh, now we are going to import uh, the first image that we will combine uh, the sunglasses okay we will start with the the easy part uh, the sunglasses as you can see this image of the sunglasses has a, a no background so it is very easy to combine with any other image because we don't have to remove any background uh, or uh, do anything to any of our previous layers. We just take the so the pair of sunglasses where we want it to be, and uh, once we are satisfied with our choice, uh, we click the check button right here. And uh, just to make it look more realistic, we can go to the blending mode and. Uh, choose I'm going to go with multiply uh, you can choose your own blending mode you can go with liner burn uh, or darker color no not that not a good idea but you know feel free to do what you like now the second image will be uh, this pair of lips this is a bit harder because uh, you can see that we have no background we want just the, the lips and not the, the rest of this picture so we cannot just um, click the check button and uh, leave it there because then we would have the whole image on top of the, the orange layer uh, which is not what we want so in this case we first uh, might maybe if I and down the opacity a little, it will help. So we uh, make a preview of where we want the lips to be. I think right here it looks fine. Let me turn the opacity back up and then we check. Now we can either um, make a mask layer and uh, erase the background over here uh, around the lips by using destructive editing but this is not something I suggest because if um, you want to do that you will have to use the erase tool only and uh, I don't know how you how precise you can be uh, while using that what I prefer to do is uh, take the pen tool and make a fine selection uh, around the lips uh, let me fast forward uh, this part and get back to you once I'm done Okay, so I'm done with a selection. I also uh, right clicked uh, and chose make selection. Uh, now we hit Control Shift I to invert the selection. Uh, go to the mouth layer, right click and choose rasterize layer, and then hit delete. And that shall leave you just with the lips over here. Now hit Control D to get rid of the selection, and uh, you're mostly good to go. Uh, it doesn't look as uh, real as the, the sunglasses because we had the background removed and uh, so we actually uh, altered the image but um, you can now get more um, playful with uh, blending modes and go at uh, liner burn oh no maybe not that I don't know. Doesn't none no, none of those uh, modes seems good to me. But I'm guessing if you work with something, uh, you will. Okay, that looks good, but not uh, real enough. But it 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 adds. Uh, you know, it gives a perspective to the whole image because uh, the blue color, that purple blue with uh, the orange yellow, fits good. But let's stick with normal for now. 
and uh, that's pretty much it we've made uh, ourselves an orange wearing sunglasses and uh, I don't know yawning maybe or screaming or something uh, with the same way you can combine other images for, uh, for instance uh, place some eyes over here or a nose or a hat or hands and legs or whatever you want uh, that's it for now guys thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions uh, please leave a comment and I will do my best to reply for more tricks and tips visit uh, techiv.com your solution provider and until the next video take care